What in holy moly has happened here? Well, this, obviously a successful kill site. Yeah. You know, we shallow, shallow layer, polar bear smashed through it, hauled out the seal, done a bit of killing here and then. Looks like a ring seal. It's like psycho, never mind a ring seal. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? How it's quite reasonably fresh, it's not frozen. Yeah. They've eaten just, just the blubber. They go for the high, high calorie stuff. Right, so they've left all this muscular, all they've this left, protein, yeah. They've left all the muscle, and it's an yeah. adult, adult ring seal. This is their absolutely standard prey. Using its phenomenal strength, the polar bear had punched a hole clean through three feet of hard packed snow to get at the seal below. The kill had proved that there were polar bears in the area. We were getting close. The ring seal lives in that hole underneath the snow, in that layer underneath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd make a lousy polar bear, and so would you. So how, how long will it take him to do that? Oh. Doug suggested I take a closer days. look at the seal's hideaway. I'm going in, and maybe some time. <laughs> it's gone dark. I can't see <laughs> now, it's gone very dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad <laughs> 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 And then, my first wild polar bear. Doug sprang into action. My job was safety officer. And why am I holding this again? Why are you holding the pistol? Because there's a small possibility that it'll wake up and come and have a little bit too close look. OK. In which case, all we need, I'll give you the, the nod. You just cock the gun, put the spit off a flare in his direction. OK, it's not a problem. OK, take your lead off me. Joking aside, it may not look that scary on the TV, but let me tell you, my heart was pounding. Whoa, that's beautiful. I feel very privileged to be able to sit here in the open with it, really, knowing that this is a fully wild bear. He's having a sniff now. Come on. Whoa. Come on. Ah, so he's up on his feet. You can really see the, the kind of the immense shoulders that they have, can't you? He's all forearms, isn't he? And what impresses you most about the polar bear? It's when you see the starkness of the environment in which he's functioning. And he isn't really struggling to survive. When you spend time watching a polar bear, you just realise how perfectly in tune. He doesn't miss yeah. a trick. Now, and he hadn't missed us. To me, it seemed our friend was getting a little too close. This bear is pretty close. But Doug was confident we were still OK. Send him back, send him back. It's OK, he's all right. One of Doug's tricks, if a polar bear gets too close, fire up the snowmobile. Oh. Jason beat me to it by maybe five or ten metres. <laughs> I'd have probably let him come on over this way, but... Right. Don't get too many. Pretty damn close. 